In this particular session, we are going to discuss about reflection of focus of a parabola with respect to any general tangent of a parabola. To perform so, let firstly have a diagram. So, this is the parabola we are considering and we are staying in our comfort zone with considering the parabola to be y square equals to 4x. The axis of the parabola is positive x axis, this is tangent at vertex. So, this is y axis and the focus is some is a comma 0. Now, if we consider any general point on this parabola, say p point with coordinate a t square comma 2 a t. Now, if we have the tangent at that very point, the equation of the tangent is supposed to be t y is equals to x plus a t square, which will meet the axis that is x axis at the point t, definitely the coordinate is going to be putting y is equals to 0 minus a t square comma 0 and where we can find the point of intersection with ten, tangent at vertex that is m and the coordinate can be found with putting x equals to 0 that is 0 comma a t. Now, we are considering a perpendicular line of this mirror tangent through the focus. Now, we do not know at this moment from where it should pass, so I am not drawing it at the beginning and instead we are just considering the perpendicular line to T y is equals to x plus a t square which can also be written as T y minus x is equals to a t square that was our equation of tangent. The perpendicular line which will pass through the focus, so it must have its y plus t x and passing through the focus a comma 0. So, satisfying the left hand side, we should have it a t. Now, if we consider this line, it also justifies putting x equals to 0, we should get y is equals to a t. So, that means the foot of the perpendicular should be at m. So, I am shifting a bit the focus for the betterment of the diagram. We are considering this is the perpendicular and say this point is focus. So, instead of marking S here for the betterment of the diagram, I am marking it over here at S a comma 0. Now, their intersection point definitely going to be M as per our identification. So, if we consider of S dashed which is image of focus about this general ten tangent as S dash. So, M must act as the midpoint of S and S dash and hence S which is a comma 0, the midpoint having abscissa 0, so S dash must have abscissa minus M. The ordinate of S is 0, the ordinate of the midpoint M is a t, confirming S dash must have ordinate 2 a t. So, on extension, we can have a point with ordinate a t and abscissa minus a and we can identify it is definitely on the line x plus a is equals to 0 that is the directrix of the parabola. Moreover, this point is dashed which is having ordinate 2 a t that is same as the ordinate of p. If we join p with s dash, we must have a line parallel to axis of the parabola. So, from this outcome, what are the things we can conclude? Like we have found s been reflected about any general tangent and the generality of the tangent been confirmed by p which can be any point on the parabola taken parametrically as a t square comma 2 a t. So, with respect to that tangent considered as the mirror, what we have found the reflection is at s dash and s dash having its ordinate 2 a t which is controlled by the parameter t that is positioning of p, but the abscissa minus a confirms irrespective of the tangent 
is dashed is definitely going to lie on directrix. So, on that basis what we can conclude is the locus of the image of focus of any parabola when reflected about a tangent of the parabola is the directrix of the parabola. So that is the first conclusion we have got. What else is gettable? That S dash and P which are having same ordinate 280. So the image of focus about a mirror tangent when being joined with the point of tangency of the mirror tangent that describes a line parallel to the axis of the parabola. And we can also conclude by the positioning of M being found very special that any tangent of a parabola the perpendicular line of the tangent through focus and the tangent of vertex of the parabola these three lines are always concurrent. So what are the other benefits we can avail out of that as angle SPM is right angle. So this angle been found right angle. If we join P with S, so that is a right triangle that is focal radius of the point P that is SP itself subtend right angle at the point M. So if we draw a circle taking SP as diameter This must pass through M. Even we can conclude the equation of the circle. Let us have a look. Like this circle having S and P as diametric ends will have equation X minus A into X minus A T square plus y minus 0 into y minus 280 is equals to 0. That is the circle having SP, the focal radius of the point P as diameter is definite to pass through M. Now we are also trying to have the equation of tangent for this circle at the point M. For that we are firstly opening the equation into the form of x square plus y square minus 80 square into x minus 280 into y plus a square t square is equals to 0. Now if we use a tangential transformation that is t transformation due to the coordinate of the point m that is 0 comma 80 the t transformation We are going to have it as x into 0 plus y into 80 minus 80 square into x plus 0 by 2 minus we can replace 2y here. So 80 into 2y can be replaced with y plus 80 plus a square t square is equals to 0. So while opening this term we are going to get 80 into y minus 80 squared by 2 into x minus 80 into y minus a square t square plus a square t square is equals to 0. We can cancel out these terms. So we have got to 
this term only been written from the calculation out of which a t square by 2 not supposed to be 0 as we are considering p to be any other point than vertex. So, t not equals to 0. So, it concludes back x equals to 0 that is tangent at vertex for the parabola. So, we have got so many results. We are just summing up all the possibilities once again. The first conclusion that we have got that when focus of a parabola been reflected about a general tangent, we have got the image on directrix. When image joined with the point of tangency of the general tangent, the segment or the line formed is parallel to axis. We have found any general tangent, its perpendicular line through focus and tangent at vertex always coincide at a point. Moreover, considering the general point of tangency P on the parabola and considering its focal radius SP as diameter, if we consider a circle, the tangent at the point M for that circle that is the point of concurrency of the tangent perpendicular from focus and tangent at vertex, the tangent at that very point for the circle is also found the tangent at vertex for the parabola. Now, in the next session, we are going to have application of this theories found.